When I first installed Open9X, I had a hard time setting it up as a master trader. And um, the reason is that there are several different things that you need to do. It's not set up to start off by default. Uh, and that means there are several things you can do wrong. I think I did everything wrong at least three times. So it took me hours actually to get it working. So I thought I'd give you a head start and uh, show you how easy it is and how full control you've got when you've set it up. I'll be using these two transmitters. The new 9XR, that one, and the somewhat older 9X. I'll use this one as a body box and this one as a trainer. Both are running Open 9X, uh, a Swedish version, so all the menus will be in Swedish. But I don't really think it matters since everything is in the same place. It should be fairly easy, whichever version you've got. Okay, let's get right to it. I start by setting up the body box radio. I will create an empty model with the default configuration. Do like this, long press, okay. I've got 11 models already but I'll make a number 13 here. Okay, and then long press into it. I'll give it a good name about body. Okay, and the next step is to go into the mix menu, this one. And my menus are in Swedish, but I don't really think it matters. Everything is in the same place. And as you can see, this is my default configuration. I'm running Throttle, Elevon, uh, sorry, Throttle, Eleron, Elevon, and uh, Rudder. Uh, and that's my standard setup. Now, that this is all we need to do with this radio. It's got this standard setup, it's 100% of all channels, and we're just using the first four channels because those are the only ones that are transferred in the master body setup. Okay, so let's move on. Now we'll set up the master. I'll turn it on. There it's on and the brightness has adjusted. So you'll find the settings going a couple of steps leftwards. And here's the trainer menu. Uh, I don't know if this is how it's looking on your radio because I don't remember what the default settings are. But I'll show you what you need to do. Okay. Here you've got on the side here you've got the control surfaces, the four control surfaces that we can control. And uh, this is rudder, elevator, throttle and aileron. It will say so in English I guess if you're an English speaker. Okay, and there might be different signs in this row, and I'll show you the different. Oh, sorry. Okay, the different values you can have. If it says "of" or "off" in your, that means don't use the input from the body box. And this is probably the default. So if this is the case, you won't detect any signal. Okay, so you need to select this one instead, which means only use the input from the body box. You might also use this, which means use the input from the body box as well as your own. I think this is a very strange mode and I, I don't use it. Okay, so for each row you need to go down and see to it that you're using this sign, okay? And then the next step is that you have to select how much. Okay, I, I think 100% is a good idea, but you could you could use this for if you've got a very large, if you want to dampen the input, you could use it, you could do this, but I, I just set it to 100 and adjust the body box instead. Okay? And then we need to map the channels. And 
I've got I have got throttle on the first channel and as you can see here throttle is coming on channel 3 which is not correct so I'll switch that channel 1 I've got uh, I got my ailerons on channel 2 that's that one okay so I'll change that channel 2 I've got my elevator on channel 3 so I'll change that channel 3 and the rudder is on channel 4 okay so it doesn't really matter if you had open 9x or whatever on the other radio you could have any mapping you could use any radio as long as you get the signals you need to map them correctly and you can correct, map them correctly in Open9x. So we're fine there. The next step is to calibrate the input. I've never had these radios connected to each other. So uh, we need to calibrate uh, the, the actual strength. You see on the bottom here, we've got the old calibrations from the body box I used the last time around. And these will probably not match at all. So calibration is the next step. I always use these coiled stereo wires as adapters. They curl up nicely and don't tangle and they stretch to I think it's a meter and a half. So I think this is a very convenient connection and cheap too. The trainer cable should supposedly have mono contact like this one. Uh, and I actually got hold of a couple in order to make mono cables, but I, I've used these stereo cables forever and I've never had any problems whatsoever. They certainly work in uh, the 9X and the 9XR. To calibrate the radios we've got to connect them and the master radio, you, you start by turning it on and uh, then connecting the cable to the trainer port. Okay, I've got it in there. Okay, and I'll plug this in in the back of my 9X here. And as you can see, that radio turned on, but the backlight is not on. I've got backlight installed. Okay, and this is normal. Now this radio is running as the body for that radio. And we'll move over here to the calibration screen. Okay, we're in the calibration screen. I'm moving the sticks on my body box, which you can't see because it's out of picture. But and you see the the values down there; they they change. And these values down here is the input okay and what I need to do is to set everything on the uh, body box to to the center and when it's it's set to the center I'll walk down like this to the calibration and press enter here see now it's zeroed so basically now we've calibrated the input coming from the body box and this is naturally very important if you don't do this it, it won't work and finally we're at the stage where we can set up our model to accept input from the body box coming to the trainer we've already set up the link and connection we have calibrated the values so we'll get the right values over so the, the last step, what, what I didn't really understand when I started out, because we need to go in to the model setup. And on the last screen, number 7 in the, my radio, we need to set up a switch function. The switch function for the trainer switch, which is not on by default. And I think a lot of people will have problems with this. You really need to enable the throttle function 
uh, sorry, the trainer function for each model. So I've got one set up already, but I need another one. And uh, it says gas here. I want to have trainer. Go around there. Here and that's trainer. Okay. Now I set that function, and I actually got a trainer to start off with. That's exactly what I wanted. There are numbers to choose from, so I won't I won't go through them. But trainer is good. Okay. Uh, and then that little item there means that it's on. So this is exactly what we needed to do. Okay, so now this model here will accept input via the trainer uh, input, which means that it's usable. And one last thing, something I've found to be very useful is when you fly with children and try to teach them. They're they are very good at, at controlling the airplanes. They are not that good of controlling the throttle. What you can do is to go down to the throttle channel here and turn that specific channel off. Okay. This way, when you give control to the body, they will only control the flight surfaces, not the throttle. So the throttle will stay with you, which means that you can kill the engine if something really bad happens. Uh, and uh, and you can help them by giving them the, the, the amount of throttle they need in every situation not to stall. And I think that's very convenient. I, I haven't been able to do that with my other radios. That's all for today.